Hi, I'm Phil Corgan from The Amazing Race, and I am going to try to answer everything, and I mean everything, that you want to know about The Amazing Race. If I leave anything out, that would mean that I haven't answered everything, and I mean everything, about The Amazing Race. But I will do my best. Yes, I do sometimes forget where I am. Uh, I also wake up and I, I cannot remember the layout of the room that I'm in. That's not good when you're a middle-aged man and you want to get up in the middle of the night to pee. So it's always a good idea to leave the light on in the bathroom in your hotel room but just open a, just a tiny little bit to let out a little bit of light so when you do wake up in the middle of the night, you actually have some light to guide you. A lot of people ask me, what are you doing when the teams are racing around the world? And it's as if people forget that I literally am going everywhere they go, but just slightly ahead of them. For some reason, they just think I'm like going to the pool, drinking a pina colada or something, and then like, hey, I get a call, and it's like, yeah? Oh, you want me to come to the pit stop now? Yeah, I'll be there in a second. No, I am literally trying to stay ahead of the teams. Sometimes, very challenging. 12 shows in roughly 21 days, do the math. So I am taking whatever means of transportation I can get into to try to beat the teams to the match. Do we really want to talk about that? Because then that would mean that I somehow missed the boat, didn't get the car. The answer is yes. First time it ever happened was in season four. I literally was running to the mat while a team was running to the mat. It happens. If you ever see me huffing and puffing when I say, you're team number one, chances are I was actually running to get there ahead of the team. The teams are not really on a budget. I mean, they have everything they need. I mean, we give them whatever it is. We figure out what kind of money they need to get from point A to point B. But I'm very well looked after by my uh, by the team around me. And no, I'm not. I don't get cut short with cash somewhere in some faraway place. Crazy things do happen, though. You know, we do. I get lost. I remember once, it was season seven, trying to find the pit stop. We stopped to ask someone in the village how to get to a particular spot, and they literally said, "You follow the river." seven clicks you will see a big tree you will see elephants make a right go over the river cross to the other side go three clicks you will see another big tree there will be no elephant make a right turn go five clicks and you'll see the pit stop and it's not like i could just like punch up google maps and there are a lot of places that we go where that just doesn't happen so i do in fact get lost like the teams even though i have booklets and maps and all kinds of stuff to know where i'm going and i've Got a team with me who are supposedly meant to know where we're going. But hey, things happen. There is no way in hell that I could ever take my family on this trip. 12 shows in 21 days. We would average three to four hours of night, um, three to four hours of sleep a night. And so, no, I, might, I wouldn't put my family through that. I try not to think about what the time is in the place that I've come from. So for instance, this morning, I got up at the equivalent of, uh, I guess it would have been three o'clock where I've come from, but I didn't think about that. I just looked at the clock and it was like, oh, it's six o'clock, I gotta get up. So it's very important to just buy into the time that you're at, you're at um, and force yourself awake during the day so that you try to fall in line very, very quickly. Now, an amazing race, we're traveling through so many different time zones, you can't really get into a rhythm. So my advice there is, if you can sleep, sleep. And you get very, very good at sleeping anywhere, anytime, any place. And I have literally fallen asleep, leaning against the wall in an airport. I can fall asleep like that in the back of a car. At a pit stop, I'll take paranaps on the mat and just lie down, boom, I'll be out. I love flying home on New Zealand because when I get on that plane at LAX, it's a direct flight, it's an overnight flight, uh, I feel like I'm already home when I get into the plane because I hear the New Zealand accents, I can smell the New Zealand food, uh, there's a handy glass of Pinot Noir, which 
just over there and I see the bottle of wine ready to be poured. I love Annie Zealand. It just makes me feel comforted to get on board. The silver bird, as I call it, I watch it fly in and out of LA every day and um, I'm always uh, a little envious when I see it disappearing over the Pacific. New York has fantastic street food. I, I, uh, I love New York for street food, but I'm gonna say probably, um, probably Bangkok and probably um, Hanoi. We have a great format. The format is dynamic teams of two racing around the world, following a series of clues, doing amazing things in incredible places. If we can continue to do that well, the audience will continue to turn up. That said, we do have an express pass uh, this season, and we do have a U-turn where everybody will be involved in the U-turn. 13 teams for the first time ever, 90 minutes, so we have a little bit more time to add context and to uh, add more character into the show, but we gotta get the basics right. If you start jumping around and trying to do twists and turns and mess with the format, you can mess up something that's really good. If it ain't broke, then don't try to fix it. So that's kind of how I feel personally. I am as excited about the show as I was when I first started because I feel like our show is even more relevant than it's ever been. We've prided ourselves in trying to show difference on our show, celebrate difference. I think travel is a wonderful educator. I think being exposed to people who are different, think differently, maybe come from different cultures, maybe worship different things, eat different foods, um, have different priorities in life, I think is a wonderful thing. At the end of the day, humans are really the same they, in, in terms of like caring about their family and their friends and um, for the most part people are decent. You're always going to have a few bad eggs wherever you are in the world um, and even here at home. Um, but we are a show that celebrates the best of the human spirit and I, I love that and to me the world quite frankly needs it more than ever before. <laughs> we have a lot of discussion about why we're different and what we disagree on and not a lot of conversation or enough conversation I think about what we do agree on. I, I think with our show we're celebrating the good things in life and that to me is a good thing. All right, well there you have it. I tried to answer every single question, everything that you would want to know about The Amazing Race. If I've left anything out, well, let me know and I'll try to answer it. Of course, tune in every Wednesday, 9.30, 8.30 Central on CBS for 90-minute editions of The Amazing Race, season 35.